Good evening, children. Welcome to Avati's uh, Great Ten Grammar Class. Punya ji thamang sanga dekha uchi. So, ame tens arambo kattile. We have finished with uh, present and past tense. Aji very easy format. Future tense dekhi ba. So that is a very easy format. Jadi thame present or past tense ko bhalo ki puchi jai cha. Future tense is very easy. Actually. Uh, modern uh, grammar re, future tense te put a tense peri niya jai ni but because ama curriculum re achi so we will learn it the way it is jem te ama textbook re ame uh, achi ama ra odia gra english grammar book re jota achi sem te ame da padhi vaku chashtya kari va okay so now let's first try to understand children future tense as usual ama ra ude simple future tense thai then you have got your uh, future progressive tense and your future perfect tense. Future perfect continuous te te use hoi ni. Then hoi amo syllabus te bhi te mention kara hai ni. So we will not go to that. Okay. Jemi te amo present or past tense te chakta bhaga. Uh, simple, um, uh, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. So on the future re bhi we will have a simple future tense. We will have a future continuous and a future perfect tense. We also have future perfect continuous. Chota ki aji hame. Ete podhivani kinda seta ete use hoini. Mane even uh, spoken English shabi ete use hoini, kima written English shabi ete use, use hoini. Now, let us try to understand what is simple future tense, children. It expresses future as a fact. Jem jeme present tense re podithile, simple present tense jeko pry facts. Right? So, similarly, future tense also it, it expresses facts or what we believe will happen in future. Then we will use future tense, simple future tense. This tense, this is very important, children. It's a good hint for you guys. Let me show you. Uh -huh. So whenever you, you get these words like I think, I expect, I believe or probably, then we will have to use a simple future tense. Achha, few, simple future uh, tense format hoji, subject thi ba, ta sangare shall kimba will use kari ba, plus verb, plus tamara jahabi baki object jahabi thi ba. Okay, so subject plus shall cross will, mani shall kimba will plus your verb plus your other part of the sentence. So jo thi bhi a words chako dekhi ba chua mani, then it, you'll have to use simple future tense. Okay. Our Jyoti be it expresses as a fact. Okay, when a Jyota ki nidhari ta, so tera kiche change hai parivani. Then also we will say, we will have to use simple future tense or what we believe in future. For example, let us see. I shall be 20 next Saturday. Mane asanta Saturday mu kodiya barsara hai jibi. This is a fact. Hai tera kiche change haba nai. So hence we will use your subject. Koti gola it hila tamo subject I plus shall plus B is your verb, then whatever is the uh, other remaining part of your sentence. I shall be 20 next Saturday is a fact. Now, what we believe in future, then also we use a simple future tense. How? I think India will win the match. It is tamara biswas. It is tamara biswas je ame kalira match re ho, ki asanta match re India jitti ba. So, what we believe, then we use simple future tense. Format is subject plus your, uh, uh, because your think is coming, can you see that? Because you're getting this verb think, think we'll have to use a simple future tense that will include, so I will win, win is your verb. So, subject plus will or shall and then your verb. Uh, because there is thing, this is another hint ki tamayiti simple future tense use kari ba. Alright. Next. Future continuous tense. When can we use future continuous tense? When an action is promised. Manne kichi gote tam action gote tam promise kari cha. Or kimba gote thought which is to be going on at a specific time. Mani kichi kote samya bhittare kote tamara bhavana chalji. Okay. Or a context in the future. Jote any action which has been promised or thought to be going 
on a specific time or context in the future mane kichi gote jinsa jodi tumhe promise kari cha kimba gote bhavana gote specific time pai kimba gote kichi gote kichi gote context pai future re mane kichi gote tulana pai future re jota use karibo then we will have to use your future continuous tense let's see the example children acha the format is this is again the same jemti tumara thai tumara any continuous tense re you have to use, use verb plus ing this is common at extra hochi shall kimba will okay so your subject plus shall kimba will plus the be form okay i am ho i is ho they are whatever okay plus your verb plus the ing form what is the example i shall be sleeping at around 6 am tomorrow so this is a thought eta tumara bhavana je mu chota sudha kali kali sandhya chota sudha kimba kali sandhya kimba sakal chota jaye mu soi i shall be sleeping i shall be sleep plus ing at around 6 am tomorrow eta tumo bhavana what is specific time pai tumara eta bhavana asuchi je mu kali i shall be mu soi bi chota jaye okay then they will be playing at this time tomorrow eta gote context okay they your subject will plus be plus play plus your ing at this time tomorrow is kali ki e samay re semane khelu thibe kimba khelo chali thibo so they will be playing semane khelu thibe at this time tomorrow e jo particular samay re semane khelu thibe so gote samay ko nirdharita kari ki तमरे एक्शन ता जो चालू था फ्यूचर रे एटा तमरे भावना किबा तम प्रॉमिस हे पाए जेमते दिस इज योर प्रॉमिस एंड दिस इज योर थॉट ओके नाउ लेट्स लेट्स सी नाउ व्हाट इज फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस चिल्ड्रन दिस इज वेरी इजी इट इज यूज्ड टू डेमोंस्ट्रेट एन एक्शन व्हिच इज प्रॉमिस टू बी डन बाय अ सर्टेन टाइम इन द फ्यूचर इट इट इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट नॉर्मली फ्यूचर टेंस रे गुटे टाइम ता इते स्पेसिफिक न थाए but in this particular future perfect tense it talks about actions let me show you here it talks about actions that will be completed by a certain time frame in the future it is in the future only but it will be completed by a certain time frame tamane gote nirdharita samaya bitare future re e kam ta hobo kimba saribo okay so r ho chi subject plus shall kimba will which is common with any future tense then you have this your past participle have plus the verb in the past participle let us see the example she is your subject will she will have cleaned clean is your verb plus ed so she will have cleaned the house before her father comes the baba asiba aguru से घर टा निश्चय क्लीन कर सारी थी बणी इन द फ्यूचर ओनली आम एबर कथा कहूने कि पास्टर कथा कहूने वि आर टकिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर बट दैट विल बी कंप्लीटेड इटा कंप्लीट हे थी हबणी कि हबा को अच्छी फॉर एग्जांपल एलेक्स विल हैव सबमिटेड द टेंडर बाय टुमारो तो मैं माने आज ही बसी की कहू छ जे काली सुधा एलेक्स टेंडर टा सबमिट करी थी बणी All right. So you are you are anticipating future. We say that we have to do. But we have to know that the work is in the future. Hey, sorry, keep on. Hey, hey. How about this? Chip. This chip. How about this? Go to the future. Okay, dear. The future is simple future tense. Then we have learned future continuous and future perfect tense. Now let us see. There are few things which you need to understand, which are very very important. Now what is it? Now prior, in the mutam koili, future tense is mostly called a future time reference. Basically, ame future time ta ko refer kori ki a subject ta ko no. Kemiti, aita re kono we? Jee to aita ko future time reference bali ko ha jaye. Tenu kabe kabe kono we? Jodi ho tamo tense ta simple present tense re hi pare. Kintu it is talking about the future. समय होची फ्यूचर बी सरी द टाइम इज अबाउट द फ्यूचर बट योर टेंस रिमेंस इन द सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस 
तमने किछि भी गुटे घटना जोटे फ्यूचर रे इट्स अ फैक्ट ठीक है जी सेटा को तमे लिखिला बोल को यू विल नॉट से द कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स विल बिगिन फ्रॉम 2nd अक्टूबर नो द कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स बिगिन फ्रॉम 2nd अक्टूबर ओके बिकॉज़ इट इज अ फैक्ट इन द फ्यूचर बट इट इज अ फैक्ट सो बट इन सच केसेस यू विल यूज अ सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस similarly tomorrow is sunday here again you are using is which is your simple present tense it is in the simple present tense the verb is in the simple present tense but it is about sunday that is coming tomorrow next day bisare ame katha hoje kimba sunday bisare ko hoje but you can't say tomorrow will uh, will be sunday no tomorrow is sunday All right, children. So, jodi ho simple present tense, I may use kariba the time reference of a future visit. So, you can use simple present tense to denote to denote a fact which is uh, showing a time reference in the future. Okay. Now, you can also use. Eta bi chha mene dekho present continuous tense thile bi eta future ko refer kariba. Kemi thi when we talk about something. That we have planned to do in the future. जो टा future पे तो मैं plan करके रखी चा, सेटा रे we can use a present continuous tense also. Okay, how we are expecting the queen to inaugurate the games, let's say this Monday. I forgot to write this Monday. We are expecting the queen to inaugurate the games this Monday. मने आमे एक्सपेक्ट करूचू जे क्वीन ए आसंता गेम्स को इनोग्रेट करबे सो जदी हो इट इज इन द प्रेजेंट कंटीन्यूअस टेंस इट डिनोट समथिंग व्हिच इज प्लान फॉर द फ्यूचर फ्यूचर पे प्लानिंग हे जी देन वेट हे मे प्रेजेंट कंटीन्यूअस टेंस यूज करूचे बट इट इज अ प्लानिंग टू डू इन द फ्यूचर दे आर लीविंग एट 6 पीएम संध्या 6 टा सुद्धा से माने बाहरी बे बाहरी जीबे दे आर लीविंग They are leaving. This is in the present continuous tense, but it is a time referral for the future. माने future भी सरे, हमें simple present uh, present continuous tense भी use करी हब use करी हबो जो टाइम की हमें किसी आगो को plan करो चे. Kala is meeting me at nine a.m. तो मैं already plan करी चो जब तो मैं Kala संगेरे nine a.m. रे देखा करी बो. So here again it is present continuous tense, but You will be using it for future time reference. All right, children. Confused, Abani. So always remember that uh, the tense is always with the verb. Verb sangari I am already padi che. But in certain cases, like in these cases, these tenses, simple present tense and present continuous tense, can are used to refer something for which it is hap. It is going to happen in the future or a a fact. Which is already, which is in the future, but which is a fact. All right. Now, this eighty. Look, I'm going to put it. I'm going to give you the whole thing. I'm going to explain it to you. The simple present tense is used for future time references to denote official programs and timetables. Very important. Exam rate. I'm going to ask you. The college opens on twenty third June. Okay. We don't say the college will open on twenty third June. No, that is wrong. The college opens on twenty third June because It denotes a program. It is a fixed program. Okay, the movie starts at six thirty, or the train leaves at nine a.m. Any timetable, any fixed timetable, can be a fixed program. Then you please use simple present tense to denote a future time frame. Simple present tense use kariba to denote a future time frame. I will tell you, children. It will be very important whenever you see these words. Let me show you. Yes, the dot. Huh. So the simple present tense is often used for future time in clauses with if. जो ठीक है एक clauses संगरे तो मैं ऐसी बो unless, when, while, then until, before, by the time, as soon as. जो ठीक है एक clause संगरे ऐसी बो you will be using the simple present tense to denote the future time. All right, Kimti. I won't go out if it rains. See, I won't go out if whenever this clause, the clause is starting with if. So here you will not say I won't go out if it will rain. This is wrong. You cannot say that. 
you should say i won't go out if it rains jodi barsha hala mu jibini you cannot say it i won't go out if it will rain that's wrong then let's wait till or till kimba until let's wait until he finishes his work not let's wait um till he will finish his work no let's wait till he finishes his work not not we can't say let's wait till he will finish his work no not till he will it a wrong to do so you have to use the simple present tense because it are a clause is beginning with till or until so jo thi bhi ei sabu tumhe clauses dekhi bo jo ta clause begin ho chi ei sabu words angare please use a simple um uh, tense to denote a future time reference please call me as soon as he comes not please call me as soon as he will come this is wrong you must say please call me as soon as he comes because as soon as jehetu asi chi clause begin ho ji as soon as sangare you will have to use a simple tense simple present tense he comes okay so please call me as soon as he comes it denotes mane future but you will be using simple present tense all right children confuse hobare kichhi nahi you can go through the slides jebe bhi tumar doubt hobo you can go through the slides now there are two other things jo tiki ame the future tense ta ko refer kari pariba kemiti going to form so going to form re when you have decided if we have decided before talking about it तमे ऑलरेडी डिसाइड करी छ ए जिनसटा तमे करिबो तापरे तमे का कोइटा व्यक्त करछो देन यू विल बी यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मेट व्हाट इज इट फॉर्मेट बी प्लस गोइंग टू प्लस बेस ऑफ द वर्ब लेट मी गेट बैक टू दिस बी प्लस गोइंग टू प्लस बेस ऑफ द वर्ब हाउ लुक एट दोस क्लाउड्स इट इज गोइंग टू रेन तमे क्लाउड को देखि के डिसाइड कर दे छ वर्षा हबो देन यू यू विल यू विल यूज इज be the form ho ji is plus going then going to plus your base form of the verb rain so jodi tumhe already decide kari ki tapare kichhi ko cha you can use this format also to denote the future time you can also use <coughs> okay this is one more example why are you selling your bike i'm i'm going to buy a car so tumhe decide kar cho you are going to buy a car you have already decided so whenever you have decided तमके पचाउ छि काहे कि तमे बाइक बिकी दो छ आई एम गोइंग टू बाय अ कार यू हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ डिसीजन जोडी तमे डिसाइड कर छ देन यू विल यूज दिस फॉर्मेट आई प्लस बी बी अ बी अ अनदर फॉर्म इज आई एम गोइंग टू एंड बाय योर वर्ब नाउ यू कैन आल्सो यूज दिस फॉर्मेट बी अबाउट टू ए फॉर्मेट भी यूज करि परिबो टू डिनोट द फ्यूचर टेंस हाउ लेट्स गो इनटू द ट्रेन इट इज अबाउट टू लीव ट्रेन छाडीबा को अछि इट इज अबाउट टू लीव जे ट्रेन छाडीबा अवस्था रे अछि सो लेट अस गो इनटू द ट्रेन नाउ डोंट गो आउट नाउ इट इज अबाउट टू रेन वर्षा पडीबा को अछि वर्षा हेइ पारे वर्षा पडीबार अछि सो प्लीज डोंट गो आउट देन आल्सो दिस डिनोट्स अ फ्यूचर टाइम देन यू कैन यूज ए फॉर्मेट पे यूज कर परिबो ऑलराइट चिल्ड्रन नाउ एटा तमरो टेक्स्ट बुक रे एक्सरसाइजेस लेट्स डू दैट सो दैट यू विल हैव अ बेटर क्लैरिटी now here the question is please use shall or will in the blank spaces a friend is trying to move a heavy table you say shall i give you a hand not will i give you a hand you say shall i give you a hand mane mu tumko help kari bhi ki okay next there's a lot of cleaning to do you do the cleaning and i will do the drying eta tumhe confirmed acha shall ta doubtful will is confirmed सो जत मॉडल्स यूज कर छुआ मैंने विल कि शेल ओके दिज आर ऑल डिनोटिंग फ्यूचर टाइम ओके नाउ ए फ्रेंड इज कैरिंग ए लॉट ऑफ बुक्स टू द लाइब्रेरी यू आर गोइंग देयर एनीवे यू से आई टेक इफ यू वांट मी टू और इफ यू लाइक मी टू आई शेल टेक शेल इज ऑलवेज छुआ मैंने वेर यू आर डाउटफुल मैंने से आरो लोकटा परमिशन दब कि नहीं तुम्हें जानी ना सो वेन इन डाउट वी से शेल वेन यू आर कन्फर्म tum is sure or so then instead of shall you will say will okay you will use the model will now i will go and ask the clerk if he has a spare key it are a doubt nahi mu jai ki clerk ko pachari bi tanka pakare spare key achi ki nahi all right so this is easy 
Next one. Now, in each of the, this is also from the textbook, in each of the following pairs of sentences, one is natural and common, cross out the uncommon. common use karu. So, a sentence way, a jo bracket re dita format achi, quote a common, let us see. Leave that, I will carry it or I'm going to carry it for you. You will say, leave that, I will carry it for you. This is the right one. You don't have to say, I'm going to carry it for you. Don't, it is unusual, okay? Bye, I will see you, I'm going to see you tomorrow. We normally say, bye, I will see you tomorrow. You don't have to say, I'm going to see you tomorrow, okay? Next, I'll post, I'm going to post these letters for you if you like. Then you say, I will post these letters for you if you like. Not, I am going to. Then you are stressing. post Because it is permission, only if you like. So you will say, I will post these letters for you if you like. Or I shall post these letters for you if you like. Not I'm going to post. Okay. Now, I am so tired. I will go. I'm going to go to bed. I am so tired. I'm going to go to bed. This is a very normal way of saying. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Next. Next, next exercise. This is also from your textbook, children. Use, will, shall, be, going to, or present progressive forms of the verbs given in the brackets. Would you like to come uh, to watch a movie this weekend? I would like to, but I'm afraid I will not have the time. Why? What will you be doing? Well, my father will be arriving from Delhi. He has been there for six months and... We shall have a big party to celebrate. Okay. Then M Meena says, will he not be too tired for a party? Would, or won't he be too tired for a party? So because ATM will now shall Sangare uh, plus going to a present progressive form. So we have used this format only. All right. Next. Use either will be V-I-N-G or V E D, not E N V E D in the in the blank spaces in the following lines. So our school closes at 4 30. I will be taking some snacks at home at 5 o'clock. Okay. So Sadachattare school bond hejiba mu panchta sudha kichitike snacks kaibi. Our school closes at 4 30. I will have reached home by 5 o'clock. Okay, why why will have here we'll be using um a, a future perfect tense children. Why? Because it is put a time space the IG. Our school closes at 430. I will have reached. Okay. Then they they will not have they will they dash not finish painting the school building until next week. They will not have finished. This is a negative sentence. So set by will say we, they will not, they will not have finished the painting. Film, they will not have finished painting the school building until next week. Until next week. Already next week, Jai Samani painting. Sorry, sorry, pari be nahi. Okay. So we use the uh, future perfect tense here. Next. You will be taking a test on English grammar this day next week. You will be taking a test on English grammar this day, next day, next week. So, it am a thought. Okay, Kimba put a condition. Okay, already it uh, decide he jaychi that next week mo eta ne be grammar test ne be. So, you will be taking a test on grammar this day, next week. Then our teacher will be working here for next five years. Pancho Borsa Jai, I'm a teacher, 80 hi chakiri kari be. So, coming five years Jai, teacher 80 hi rohi be. So, we will use the future continuous tense. Our teacher will be working here for next five years. Mm, you can say, our teacher, um, we can, there's one more example, children, let me give you. Yeah, by the end of this month, I will have worked here for five years. Or, by the end of this month, our teacher will have worked here for five years. Satabuli, you will use the future perfect tense. But eighty jehetu next VIG, number one, this next has come. And the other format, eighty time frame diya So we will use the 
future continues i'll be working here for next 5 years asanta 5 varsha pai mo eti chakri karibi but mon kara tamara diya hai ki emiti gote sentence i by the end of this month or by the end of this week i will have completed uh, two months of my service ait you will be using future perfect tense not uh, by the end of this week i will be completing no uh, by the end of this week i will have completed uh, two months of my service okay so tikke you will have to be careful because it is very easy to identify your future perfect tense both easy can i say there a prior data time frame thibo okay by this time i will have by this time i will have so it is always you know a, a time frame diya jay dita ne dita ka side ro okay now by the time you read this i will have finished answering all the questions by the time you read this i will have finished answering all the questions you can't say by the time you read this i will be finishing answering all the questions no by the time mane tu is a jo padhila bhitare mu mor answering kari sari thi bini ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रन नाउ लेट्स डू वन एक्सरसाइज इटा तमर केवल प्रैक्टिस पई सो इथि दिया हे जी तीनटा ऑप्शंस सो लेट अस सी व्हिच ऑप्शन इज राइट आई थिंक आवर टीम विल विन वुड विन विल बी विनिंग व्हाट्स द राइट आंसर आई थिंक आवर टीम विल विन सो बिकॉज़ एना मैं देखि छे फ्यूचर टेंस रे जे ऑलरेडी तमर दे तमर गुटे डिसाइड कर दे छे तमो माइंड रे डिसाइड फॉर एग्जांपल हमें देखिले, आई आई थिंक थिंक इंडिया विल विल विन विन। द मैच। ओके, सो सिमिलरली, आवर टीम सिंपल फ्यूचर टेंस। नेक्स्ट। डैश आई हेल्प यू विद द हाउस वर्क शैल आई हेल्प यू विद द हाउस वर्क बिकॉज तमें परमिशन मांगू छो विल आई हेल्प यू विदउस वर्क इज रंग Shall I or would I help you with the uh, the housework is also wrong. Shall I help you with the housework is very uh, very nice way of asking uh, somebody to whether you can help. Ta kuch the help tamme kori bara chhi tamme shall kori bata better. All right. Then this time tomorrow I will have I will be having a discussion. I am I am having a discussion with my boss. Let's see what it is. This time tomorrow I will be having a discussion with my with my boss because here again it is a future continuous tense which talks about actions which will progress at a time in the future right so because here we talk about actions in the future which are already planned also jota planning re bhi achi aur kimba jota progress re achi future re so this time tomorrow kon ho chi je to already fixed achi i will be having a discussion with my boss so you say i will be happy next by next christmas we will have lived here for 25 years why because children asanta christmas re ame 25 barsha complete kari sari thi buni ebe tame kaucha future bisare so you use your future perfect tense when do you use your future perfect tense to talk about actions that will be completed by a certain future time then we use your future perfect tense so by next क्रिसमस असंत क्रिसमस रे कोन हबो आमे 25 वर्ष कंप्लीट करिथि बुनी एबे तमे कोचो फ्यूचर बिसर व्हिच इज अ कंप्लीटेड एक्शन और यू कैन से बाय नेक्स्ट नवंबर माय पेरेंट्स वुड हैव कंप्लीटेड देयर गोल्डन जुबली ओके सो दैट इज हाउ माने गुटे फ्यूचर एबे थाई कि तमे फ्यूचर रे गुटे इंसिडेंट को कंफर्मड भाबरे जदि कहिबा को चाहिबो यू विल यूज योर फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस next i am sure she dash before the meeting begins remember children i am sure okay i am sure she will arrive before the meeting begins why we say i will arrive because i am sure she is sure that i am already i am dekhi thile jodare tumar already what you think or believe tumar jodi gote belief achi then we use the simple future tense what is simple future tense subject plus will plus your verb so i am sure so you are sure about it it is tumara surety achi tumara tumara vishwas achi so then you'll say i am sure she will arrive before the meeting begins all right children that comes to the end of our session aaj is a session sangare tense amara pura complete he gala chapter ta complete so next week we'll take up a next uh, coming monday we'll take up a new chapter i hope you people enjoyed today's session 
see you again on monday thank you